Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 6 of Book 1, which states that if you have a triangle where two of the angles are equal, then it is an isosceles triangle, and the two sides of the triangle are also equal. So let's begin. Let's start with a triangle with equal base angles, alpha and alpha. And this proposition states that the two sides would then be also equal. So AC would equal AB is equal to R. So we're going to prove that this is true by assuming first that it's not. So let's assume that AB is the longer of the two sides, and we will label it R2 and that it is longer than AC, which we label R1. So if that's the case, using the methods described in propositions 2 and 3, we'll define a point D such that DB is also equal to R1. Connect the line from C to D, and now we have two triangles. To make this a little simpler, I'm going to take this triangle and move it down. Now if we look at the two triangles, we have a side, angle, side, R1, alpha, R3, R1, alpha, R3. And of course, according to proposition 4, if that's the case, then these two triangles are equal, and this angle opposite of R1 will be also equal to alpha. So these two triangles are now equal. Let's take this triangle and move it back to overlay it where it was. And if we look at this little bit over here, we have an angle alpha, we also have an L, another angle alpha, plus an angle ACD. So if we label the angle ACD, we're left with this angle alpha is equal to beta plus alpha. So we have beta plus alpha equals alpha. Well, that's rather nonsensical unless, of course, beta is equal to zero. And if that's the case, A lies on upon D, and the two sides of our triangle are equal. And thus we have demonstrated that if we have a triangle where the base angles are equal, we have an isosceles triangle where two sides of the triangle are also equal. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the Next button.